You know, normally we, we smoke those, but right. filled with weed. Oh, well, you're fucked up, huh? Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, like, down the street called Santa Monica Boulevard, right? Right. All right, what's up? You're not into the blunts? Who? Blunts. Like, when you take that oh, and you oh, fill it get, with weed? What? What? These guys right here, that's one thing. Don't get me high. They don't get you high. You know, you can tell everybody. A little head yeah, high. I know, baby. Come on. Come on, sing with me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Love bullshit, right? Go ahead. Damn, I'm, I'm impressed that you still got the gold nails, though, too. I'm, like, noticing mad shit before I can even get into the shit I wrote down. All right. Sad, right? No, I don't think it's sad. I don't. What? And? It's on point. You know what's amazing, dude? So there's a girl in your house, right? Mm-hmm. There's a girl in the bed masturbating, and you sit down in the chair and smoke a cigar and say, hey, or a joint. I smoke two joints in the morning. I smoke two joints at night. I smoke two joints in the afternoon. It makes me feel all right. Go ahead. <laughs> God damn it. No, I mean, I have like strong <laughs> memories of that song from but, as a kid. Yo, that yo, was yo, so yo. Bradley. I don't Sublime. smoke. Huh? The blind, right? I don't smoke cigars, honestly. Those things made me sick every time I try to smoke them before. Right. How much you spend on that? What? The, the cigar. Uh, this black guy here is awesome. This kid right here is about 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> See, we put in $20 worth of weed in the backwood for sure. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. Is it brain cells, right? Brain cells get lost for sure. I know, kind of fucked up. Were you on a, like a big weed thing for a long time, or was that ever a big part of your life? No. Never never that into the weed? Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. You know, I just had Usher in here, and I forgot to ask him about lean, because he confessed that he posted a naked photo on Instagram when he was off the lean. I forgot to ask him about that. At least you never did that. What? <laughs> <laughs> he did. I swear to God. You know what? what I said to you earlier, I said, guess what? Intrigue me. Intrigue me, right? What else? You, is that intriguing to you? Us are posting naked photos off the lane? <laughs> this is fun, right? <laughs> I love commitment. Right. Right? Commitment. Commit, right? See the girl right there? Yes. She asked me to, to, to do some real cool things to her. Cool things. Yes. Define cool things. I don't know. Let's find out. Cool things. We're going to be doing that here? Oh, man. It's got an empty blank slate. That is a good point. A podcast. <laughs> I mean, think hey, about. See. Here we go right here, damn it. A podcast is just what? us on camera for an hour. So oh, we can do whatever we want. We ain't doing an hour, damn it. Okay, yes, we don't have to do an hour. Yes, so don't forget, I'm black. I'm cool as fuck. You are cool as fuck. That's Thank a good point. Thank you. Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> these are the boss lands of love baby that's what I told the guy earlier he wouldn't believe me I said thank you for taking care of my kids I love this guy Brandon Brandon awesome guy his family in uh, Brooklyn awesome people man very awesome he got a good team with him right here a good team respect respect and they take care of your kids literally <laughs> they love my kids uh, he loves my kids <laughs> Like, How old are you kids these days? Uh, what are you doing, man? I got to uh, put, put you on the spot? <laughs> these days. <laughs> these days. How the hell am I oh. supposed to know? <laughs> <laughs> these days? God damn it. Okay, uh, 16, 17. Okay. So how is that? How's it going? It's pretty crazy seeing them. Like most of the shit, huh? Entering adulthood? Well, trying to. Trying to. Trying to, man. Yeah. It's very difficult being an athlete and a famous person to try to watch over things that you can't watch. Right. Ooh, another quote. Just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Another quote. <laughs> it, it, Fuck. So is that? Are you, do you often feel like crushed by the the immense weight of your own celebrity? I guess is really the overall theme of this, right? But I, I'm I'm so sad at the fact that I'm so selfish about me, uh-huh. and a lot of people that can confess that about themselves as far as making money and being a, uh, a famous person. I say it all the time. I say I'm so fucking selfish. I should take time out to try to be a father. Right. It hurts a lot. That's a big decision to make. No, no, it, really, it hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. But guess what? Up? I'm trying my ass off to try to understand my kids. Right. Thank you. Uh, even though I fucked the mother. <laughs> that was a crucial part of how they came to exist. Okay, right. Right. Right, cool. So what, what, what is it that you have a hard time understanding about the 16, 17 year olds? They probably know about this show. I the young kids love what, this. And what, they're probably going to be like, Dad, Dad's finally, they're, they're finally going to be like, all right, he's, he's, he's hip. You know, somebody said, well, my kids, they say, hey, how you doing? At black night, I said, what's my shoes? Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. How about spending time with me? Right. Spend time with me. Do you feel like they just want money from you? Oh, man. Sometimes. But you know what? I love them to death. Right. I love them. That's what I say. Over time, they will understand that I'm your real dad. Right. See, people don't talk like this, right? Do they have like a stepdad? Is there another guy in the. In, <laughs> this in guy's the... Awesome. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, is there, are there other. Guy, no, no, come on. You can't miss sperm, honey, right? Huh? Can you mix sperm? Sperm. Can you mix sperm? Yes. Uh, can you ever do, like, you jack off, I jack off, and then we blend together? Huh? <laughs> well, I mean, could we? Yeah. <laughs> really, guy? <laughs> no, but, okay. like, Come on, you can't do that. Allow, allow me to just throw this out there. I read what? this book called Sperm Wars. It's yes. basically about, like, what happens when, you know, you inseminate a woman. And I guess it's pretty common that a woman will have two different sperm inside her at the same time that will be both fighting to inseminate the egg. Not that that's what you're dealing with, but... No, it's called that kind of incision, right? I don't know. What? Whose sperm do you think swims faster, yours or mine? I mean, you're a profession professional athlete. Well, mine has been diluted a lot. Mm, same, actually, though, really. Uh, pretty much, right? Yeah. I mean, anyway, most guys out there, they do one thing, slinging cock, right? Right. You know, slinging cock. Look at this. Like this guy. So <laughs> You're making me feel like my own microphone's like kind of gay. this guy. <laughs> right in your mouth. Yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> now I feel like I got to get this thing out of here. All uh, right. Um, yeah. I don't know. My girl told me that my jizz tastes like weed. Ooh. That, ooh. You know what, man? Seriously? Tequila? Vodka. Tequila and vodka. See, I don't drink enough. Maybe my nut would taste like that, too. I'm saying, right? Right. It sucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you a tequila guy or a vodka guy? Hmm? Am I triggering you by even mentioning this? But it's cool though. Guess what? When they when they when they swallow, women, women, okay. when women swallow, <laughs> as the case may be, women. Right. But I'm saying, but it's it's all it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. No, it's great. Of it's course. okay. It's okay. You know what stands out to me? What? I think my first ever wet dream when I was like 13. This is, funny. This is bad because there was a guy yesterday said, Dennis, you know what? We was at some place called uh, Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy? In uh, Costa Mesa. And uh, a guy came with a cowboy hat and he's kind of overweight. He came and he said, Dennis, hey, Dennis, guess what? I used to mess with me about you. I was like, what? I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, what? He kept saying, I used to mess with you. I see you on TV. I just messed with me. I said, oh, God, come on. Right? People just come up to you and just share wild shit, Dude, huh? you don't even know, brother. How about you? But take me and you, like, like at the Ritz Carlton or the fourth season of Beverly Hills, right? Just uh -huh. me and you, right? Okay. That come on, like guys. Watch idea. this. Dennis Robin told this tattoo guy over here. I don't even know his name. Uh, Adam. <laughs> so like Adam. Adam. Yeah. Okay, Adam. The first man. Okay, so anyway, so I'll take you out to the Beverly Hills Hotel mm -hmm. and watch some guy with his wife pay me to fuck his wife. This happens. A lot. A lot? How much do you sl slang dick for? Mm. 30 grand. A price? Is that cheap? Or is that a lot? I don't know. No, that's kind of cheap, right? 30 grand for you to fuck my wife. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What a deal. That sounds like a deal. No, no, guess what? I got more stories you want. Do I get to film it? Uh, I want to know how much you got paid to well, fuck get, someone's wife. No, I just did it for free. For free. It was called courtesy fuck. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, you've been in the game for a long time. It's good that you're doing fuck. it for the love of the sport. <laughs> It's called courtesy fuck it. God damn it. <laughs> so were you just doing it for the love of the game? Like she was hot, you wanted to do it? No, I just felt like I guess it's my time to make um some cool memories. You know, why not, right? Right. You know, you know, I wanna die, die right. Right. You know, I wanna be frozen and so people look at me and say, Yeah, I used to fuck with that guy. And guess what? And I look at her ass and guess what though? I'm not going. Just look at you, damn it, like a billboard. You ever right. see billboards on the street, and guess what? When you try to pass by it, the eyes still watch you. The eyes are watching you. From the billboard? Oh, did you even notice that shit? Wait, so what? There's there's eyes that are sort of set tracking you? No, have you noticed that bullshit? Not really. Right? Try it. So pay attention to the billboards. Oh, yeah, just what they keep walking. Watch the eyes watch you. I'm ready. Yeah. We should get a billboard. Mm. Just no. me and you just... Dude, Hanging we should, out. We should do it, man. Yeah, I'm down. You know. They're not that much. We could get the one across the street. It's like five so, grand. So my cock in your hands, right? 
well. <laughs> <laughs> My cock in your head at Santa Monica Boulevard. Come on. Is that the vibe that you're getting from me? I don't know. With a white horse. You're getting the vibe that I want to jerk you off or something? Oh, man. We talk about, you know, masturbating, right? No. Okay. Let me just start over with this. Okay. What I was going to say. <laughs> what I was start over say there. When I was 13, right. I think my first ever wet dream was about Carmen Electra while you were Ooh, dating her. Well, so man. you were living my literal dream. And it's not like that dream was in my control in any sense. And that was like my earliest sort of memory of what it was like to bust a nut. Yep. Uh, you know, it's amazing. When I first met Carmen, we were at the key club here uh, over there in Sunset. It was amazing when I uh, when I met her and she took her clothes off. I said, like, "Oh my God, I got an asthma attack!" <laughs> just like, what the fuck? I said, like, "Wow!" Like, oh my God, and it's like, imagine that, Carmen Electra. I mean, just that's just you know, and just, and just it still probably looks pretty good, but back then at that time, uh, shit. sheesh. All nah, right. So how'd you met her? You just met her at the club. And things just went from there. Were you, were, you, were you aware of how overwhelmingly hot she seemed to the rest of the population at that time? Was this in any way uh, overwhelming to you, or were you ready for it? No, no, I was ready for it. Uh, I love that you have a trap phone. You have <laughs> two, what, you have two trap phones. <laughs> so what is that? You got connections with the cartel or something? They don't want you calling them off the iPhone? Oh, man, where you at? I'm bored. So, yeah, either way, so when I met her, dude, so was like, I was at uh, Rich Carlton and uh, Marino Del Rey, and uh, I had sex with her. I was like, oh, my God, we both admitted that we want to marry each other, right? Right away. And I do. And my bodyguard in my Bentley, true story, he said, I'll take you guys to get married. Great. So I'm drinking, da da da, she's drinking, da this is. So three hours later, and we woke up, we said, oh, my God. We'll get married. Well, where we at? At the hotel. What? So he drove around for three hours. On the 105, the 110, da 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 Then he drove around for three hours. We thought we were in Vegas and stuff like that. So we walk out the car. We go inside the door and said, that's the fucking rich cost. <laughs> like, wait, wait, he drove you around because he didn't. He wanted to throw you off the scent and no, yeah. give you time to no, get no, sick no, of the that, idea? That was it right there. It's the whole thing. That's See, it. I was thinking that. I'm thinking mm -hmm. it's his job to keep you out of trouble. Right, right yeah. And not marry. So he did, he did it for three hours. He said, I didn't, I didn't want you to do that. That's like, great. Did you have like a manager that sort of told him to do that, you think? No, no. He just took it, took it upon himself to do that? Yeah, pretty much. That's brilliant. Right. How long were, did that relationship last, as long as we're talking about three this? Three years. Three years. Right. A good three years? Yes. Why did it inevitably end? Well, I, I introduced her to uh, um, Navarro. Dave Navarro. I sure did. I introduced her at the, at the key club where I met her. And she met him and married a fucker. He's been slanging dick in this town oh, for dude. a long time. That's why I hate that fucker sometimes, man. Because he always say, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> but, what? Guess what? Who's more powerful, you or me? That's a good question. I don't hmm. know. Uh, see? I said, I said, see? Who is well, more powerful? I don't get it. Watch this. Here and there over the years, I've met different porn star girls who inevitably have either fucked shit. Dave Navarro or well, they are texting him right then and there right, while I'm right. hanging out with him. It's just he's, he's still a presence. You know what's amazing? See the girl right there beside you? Mm -hmm. Ask her something. Ask her something. Right there. What should I ask her? Ask her why she wants me so much. Why do you want Dennis so much? You can't do this. You've know? been friends for a long time. You're just hanging out. That's what she said. She's, she seems like she's denying culpability in this. <laughs> no, that's what. We've been friends for 25 years. 25 years of friendship? 25 years, and we met at the Key Club. Oh, also met at the Key Club. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> wow. Come on, man. And, and, but it's amazing, though. Um, if you ask men around the world mm -hmm. for a perfect woman, I'm asking the same thing, sir. Mm -hmm. Show me a perfect woman. My girlfriend, at Lena the Plug. Mm, here we go. See? Yes. It's a plug, right? Well, no, that's her, her oh, Instagram yeah, name on, is Lena the Plug. I, I, see, I swear. You know, I don't feel good today. Take care of yourself. Great. That's what you say to your girls? I don't feel good? No, she says that to me. She said that? No, women. So who's your ideal woman at this point? What? Who's your ideal woman at this point? Or how, what, what does she need to, to be able to take on the Dennis Rodman challenge? 
maintain herself first. After that, it's gravy, right? She got to have her shit together to be able to handle you. Why not? You like being a challenge for a woman? It's like you're a real, you're a real something to bite off for them. Right? Pause. But it's funny though. Yeah? If your if your cock don't fit in a pussy, it's something wrong, right? It's like you're not doing some what? You have that problem? What? Where it just doesn't fit? <laughs> this guy's love. <laughs> this guy, this guy, I like this guy, man. This guy's love right here, man. Love this kid. You know what? What else you say when you see him? When I see who? That guy, the gay boy. What gay boy? Dave Navarro? No, Usher. Oh, Usher. Yeah. Usher's not gay, is he? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he seems like he is, right? I don't know. Oh, Fasachi, Fasachi, Fasachi. What the fuck, man? That's the Migos. You thinking of Quavo? A Negro? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I like that. Idea. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> you trying to catch me in some no, racist no, shit this no, whole no, interview? No, That's no, a good no, idea. No, no, we ain't about that, no. I'm just saying. A knee. Gross. All oh, right. Knee gross. My uncle used to make that joke when I was a kid. Oh, that's funny, right? Something about the knee gross. The, yeah. the knee gross. Right. Knee. Is that a slur these days, though? Like, the, the, on CNN, they were calling Kanye West a Negro after his whole little Trump thing, and then people are coming out pissed as fuck that they even used that phrase. And I know what's amazing. I think that the fact that people need to re- relax. You think so? I said, don't relax. Don't do it. Let your mind get to it. Relax. Don't do it when you want to come. Right. There you go. Switch it up a little bit. Why not, baby? There you go. Do you watch Kanye and see a little bit of yourself in what he's been up to lately, or how do you feel about him? I don't get the whole voice of reason. I think the fact that Donald Trump is so intrigued about him is the fact that Donald Trump loves people to kiss his ass. Mm-hmm. You know, Donald Trump by ego. Mm-hmm. You know, it's amazing. If Donald Trump walked on the street, Literally walked on the street. On Melrose. That'd yeah, be a good look. Right, right. What do you think? Drip. I think he'd look great, you know? I, right. I, I'd like to see him in, like, the full Gucci jumpsuit well, walking I'm, down well, the street. That'd be awesome, right? Just him walking down the street? Yeah, it'd be amazing. I'd, I'd it'd definitely awesome, Snapchat right? it. By himself. Well, that, I don't know if he can handle that these yeah, days. Yeah, you can. They have the whole block snipers on the know. roof across yeah, the street. That don't, don't mean a goddamn thing, right? Right. You know, guess what? I forgot. I love people. You love people? I do love a lot of people, yeah. Do you? Yeah. So charity work. So how's it going? Charity work. Yes. I mean, we've been, we've been doing like different drops Man, of clothing. I'm doing a goddamn interview now. <laughs> <laughs> Nojumper.com. <laughs> I'm doing an interview now. What the hell is that all about? No, we do, we do uh, clothing drops where we'll like give the, like, a percentage of all of the profits to, to different charities from Nojumper.com. Right. Right. Oof. you got to give back. Uh, always, man. Yeah. You know, you, you play one of my clips uh, around the world. I uh, always said that I never played for money. It wasn't about the money. What was it about? It was about entertaining myself, staying alive, staying alive. What do you think would have happened to you if you didn't find basketball? For me, dead. Really? Yep. That was the thing that was keeping you going? Pretty much. Pretty much. And a lot of people don't understand that. You know what? When your mind is so occupied about other things in the world, and one thing you can't turn your mind off, where you at? You know, look at people that's blind. Look at people that don't hear. Look at those people. Look at those people. I got most of that shit right That's what I get there. But I'm saying, look at those people. Seriously. God damn it. Imagine you can't see. Really? But in your, in your brain, your eyes, and your mind don't turn off because you want to see. A little forearm grab. You got real soft hands. I'm not gonna lie. Do you want a lighter? You can smoke that cigar right no, here. No, it's no, all okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's all good. All right, here we go. Trap phone again. It's the cartel. Looks like a cart. It says the cartel on the <laughs> screen. <laughs> You're like, God damn, Dennis no. Rodman. The world famous Dennis Rodman. World famous Dennis Rodman yeah. talking to the cartel. I just wanted to ask mm-hmm. though, because when we look at Trump and Kanye's little little mm-hmm. friendship, it reminds us of you and the Supreme Leader a little bit. But the only thing about Kanye, I, I think he wants to um, present a message to, uh, I guess, uh, to our culture. Mm-hmm. You know? But I think he's going the wrong way by doing it. Why do you say that? Because, you know what, if you look back in the 60s and 70s, it's amazing how a lot of white people just used to kiss black people a lot. Kiss? Yeah, kiss. I mean, it's supposed to like celebrate. 
Celebrate. Okay. It's supposed like they hug each other, but when they kiss each other on the cheek. And guess what? We embrace it, man. But now, since we're so social conscious right now about life, everything is about bullshit. Mm. Everything is about negativity. Everything is about what can I do to fuck you over? Mm. Wait a minute, really? That's all we think about in life, right? I guess. Uh, what do you guys think in America? What do you guys think? You know, your mom, your aunt, your sister, your brother, what the hell? What are we doing to each other? Mm. And said, so why are we divided? A who, lot. Did, who did that? But, who did this divided shit in the world for us? I mean, I think Trump has played no, no, a big no, role I'm in saying, it. No, I'm but why? Why are we doing this to us? I'm not mad. I could give a lot of reasons. I think the media has a lot to do with it. I think mm. Trump has obviously been, you know, he's pushed people apart in a huge way. But why? Because we live in a world of so much mass information. There's so much information coming out, and they realize that the way people want to consume information is in this sort of adversarial sense. Like when you watch Sports Center, it's, okay. it's not, it's yes. not let's you talk about a topic. Right. It's it let's is. put two motherfuckers at there war is, against is, each other. That is. See, that's what it's all about right there. That's what right. I've been saying, right? I'm saying them. <clears throat> Plug Colin. Only in the eyes that mm, mm, freestyle mm, to your brain tone. Right, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a wow. That's some new shit. Yeah, but it's new shit, right? Right. Uh, great. But like, okay, let's put it this way. You'll get more ratings if you have one guy who says Donald, uh, Dennis Robbins is a piece of shit and one guy who says Dennis Robbins is just great and you put them at war against each mm. other rather than if you have one sort of neutral commentator that's just saying this is what Dennis Robbins said today. No, it, it was funny though. When I, um, when I went to um, uh, the Bulls, Mm-hmm. The team in '95, all the reporters came to me and said, "Dennis, you know what? I'm the bad reporter. I'm gonna write negative, negative shit about you." And the other guy said, "I'm the good guy. He write some negative tomorrow. I'll write some positive." I said, "Great." They came first. I said, "Here we go. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. Right." Right. Well, it's like a good cop, bad cop thing, huh? I know, pretty much. Yeah, they want to. They want to sort of turn themselves against each other to sort of play with your mind. Like, this is the better right, option. Right. This is the better alternative. Well, pretty much. Yeah. When you, like, all that heat you were getting back in the day when right. you first were on the Bulls and you're dying your hair and you're doing all this crazy shit, what, how did that compare to the heat that you got during your North Korea moment? <clears throat> that was easy, though, here. But the in the North recent Korea, one. The one I got emotional and my good friend Matt it videotaped everything. He was there filming. <laughs> this guy, look he at got him. a bunch of trap phones on him, too. Right. One of them was plugged into a Mophie. <laughs> there he is. I don't yeah, so how did those those two experiences compare? No, no, this, this the only reason why I, am, I went to Singapore is the fact that when I got emotional, because I just want to see it. I want to see what I created. Mm. And when that happened, and when Donald Trump said, before he walked into me, he said, hey, dude, I made sure that the fact that I'm going to like this guy in two minutes. But people don't get that part. They got the part when he walked out and said, I like this guy. I like this guy, right? Mm-hmm. I like that little short guy. I like that short guy. Guess what? He wants to do a meeting in North Korea. Trump. You sure do? He did. That was big. That changed, that changed the game. I know, right? In terms of foreign policy and stuff. Do you, do you desire to go back to... North Korea? Uh, absolutely. I'm just saying, though, seven years ago, we didn't give a shit about North Korea. Uh-huh. Mm. And Trump's over here squashing mm-hmm. beef. I'm saying, right? How about that? We didn't give a shit about North Korea seven years ago. Even Guam. Right. We didn't care about Guam. I still don't. I still don't know shit about Guam. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where I got to about Guam, right? Some girl started talking about Guam the other day to me. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a lot There's about Guam. a lot Guam. of hot girls over there. In Guam. Oh, yeah, shit. It's like Hawaii. What place has the hottest girls? Mm. Anywhere on earth? Switzerland, uh, New Zealand, uh, London. They love fucking. Um, seriously, these bitches will give a nickel or a dime to have sex with someone. Right. Right? <laughs> someone. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> you, you're like acting like you right. don't understand what you're bringing to the plate. I, I, right? <laughs> I said, someone, someone, damn it. Yes, right? You're acting like you're not a ridiculously tall, no, 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 rich, no, no, successful, no, 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 famous no, basketball player. I'll, you got a lot of I'll, attributes. I'll, guess what? Man, I always talk about it. Man, I never talk about myself. Mm. Do I? I never, talk, I never talk about me. I always talk about everybody else. Mm. You know, I've done me. Right. I've, I've done. Mm. Are you sick of yourself? 
some days. No, no. Might tap the, the. That's Eddie Vedder's daughter, Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Right. That's his daughter calling. What's she up to? I'm not fucking her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's real. All right. That's I don't real. give a fuck about Pearl Jam. What'd they ever do for hip hop? Uh, what? Right? What? Pearl Jam. What'd they ever do for hip hop? Um, show me 10 hip hop uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. I'll show you Pearl Jam. Makes sense. I mm. think Pearl Jam should have put Snoop Dogg on a song. No, no, I'm saying for either way. It's actually right. You want me to tell you 10 hip hop rappers? 10 no, rappers. Says, uh, you know what? As far as rapping, they're making money? Great. That's cool, right? I can't hear this shit, fucking girls, da 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 da. This, what are you telling me? Really? That doesn't I, do it for you. I'm gonna say, guess what? I live this life. What the fuck? And right. what, right? That's all you talk about? Makes sense. So Give me something to live by down the road. Pearl Jam does it for you? Why not? Listen to music. Right. That's mostly what you listen to, though, a lot of rock and That's stuff? You're over hip hop? No. That's good. So no rap. No rap. Really? Mm. That's interesting. I'm still in it. Sometimes mm. when I talk to older dudes and rap, they're like, how the fuck are you still listening to all this fucking gangster rap? I'm like, I don't know. Mm. It just still works for me. Hey, man, to each his own, right? Yeah. I'd like to think that I'll go through a phase in my life where I'd like all oh, Aretha Franklin all the time or something. Here we go. Change the gears. Here we go. Here we go. Change the gears. Did, did you or know, Pearl Jam. Did you know that Jesus and God never met? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense to me, I guess. You ever notice that? They never met each other. What? <laughs> never met. Really? But I don't think anybody's pretending that God was an actual physical human being, whereas the idea is that Jesus was. No, no, I'm saying either way, Jesus, what they say is black, Hispanic, Jewish, what? Well, if you're from Egypt, no, no, you probably saying, ain't going to be white, I'm, right? I'm saying that either way, how you look at, uh, how you look at a spirituality, mm -hmm. how do you do that? What do you, who do you pray to? Nobody. I mean, so who do you pray to? You say uh, Muhammad Ali, right? Right. His name was more mentioned than God for a while. Right. It's amazing. You know, oh, God, Jesus, Jesus, what the fuck, right? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Every day you say Jesus and God every day. So Jesus, shit, right? Yeah, but that's not really talking about Jesus, <laughs> no, no, right? No, when no, you I, say Jesus said, I, said, I said the name. Right. Jesus, oh, God. Mm -hmm. the, it just comes out, right? I don't know if I really believe that Muhammad Ali was mentioned more than God ever. Yeah, 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 because yeah. every culture is talking about God. That's what I'm saying, right? Right. But I'm saying, but he was. Damn, that's crazy. I know, right? When you look at Muhammad Ali, is that, do you feel like that's somebody who, who motivated you or inspired you to try to be great? You know, the only uh, changing gears. Always. <laughs> There's a bike shop. <laughs> change, change the gears, change the gears. It's a bike shop. <laughs> I know, right? We're changing gears. Yeah, right? We actually, we, we don't sell any bikes that have gears. I agree. So, so you know, you know what's the reason that, that, that who really cared about black people as far as a white president? Which one? Bill Clinton. He had a saxophone. I don't know. JFK. JFK. He started that shit. What did, what did he do? That's why he got shot. You think that they killed him because he was fucking with black people too much? No, 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 no. I'm saying he tried to change the racism back then because he was he was worried about the black people. Mm -hmm. And guess what? But getting shut out. I mean, just look at the shit, man. I mean, guess what? When he starts talking about uh, the the race of, of black black people, mm -hmm. like my color, it's amazing that all of a sudden they try to turn on him. I mean, guess what? They need they even went up with the, all the uh, mafia. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it went south. So why they shoot him, of all president? Why they shoot him? I don't know. Did they ever really figure that one out? I don't. That's what I'm saying. Really, it's a mystery. I've been meaning to watch that documentary for like know. ten years. But it's, it's like you know, it don't mean shit. But watch why he talked before that. Mm -hmm. You know, people forget the little things that adds up to the big shit. You know, like Donald Trump. Someone want to shoot his ass right now. What the fuck? Right? Like a lot of people want to shoot him. Oh, like a motherfucker, right? That's what we have the Secret Service for, to protect our uh, beloved uh, president. You know, hey, Donald Trump, how about this, man? Love you, man. Love you, Donald. Watch this. I'll take care of this. Remember that bullshit? What? 130. 130. Oh, gosh. That bitch. He fucked. Oh, the, the payment he made to Stormy Daniels. It, it was funny as fuck, though. He, he, he <laughs> Donald Trump did some real cool shit, right? He said, okay, great. I'm going to handle this shit. You go to goddamn Dubai or the Bay or whatever and meet kids. That's what it's fuck, right? How you did that shit? I'm like, what? He took his wife over there, told her, you know, the bitch, I mean, the girl, you know, anything, right? Mm -hmm. 
Do you look at Donald Trump and his interaction with porn stars and stuff? Does that make you relate to him a little bit more? That he's he's sort of with the shit. He's been around. He's made illicit payments to porn stars to keep him quiet. I'm, I'm I assume right? you've probably done some stuff like that. Right? I've done a lot of that <laughs> in my life. I'll give a shot. I'll be yes. I've done a lot of that. Yes. I'll cut the check. Keep right. your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of that. Okay, but I'm saying it's it's very it's very uh, it's very. Uh, very difficult to understand how people work as far as powerful people with money. Mm. And, um, you know, it's amazing when you have money and you see people that's poor, what do you do? Try to help? No, 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 what I'm saying, or try you, to ignore them, I guess? But I'm saying that we're so intelligent about uh, information, about anything, about in technology. All we do is one thing. You'll say, you'll, you'll say your fucking mom or dad knows you have a cell phone. Mm. That sucks. Wow. I need my cell phone. Fuck the car. I need my cell phone. You got two of them. I know, right? These are guys called me thirty bucks a piece. Thirty bucks a piece. This was probably like a thousand bucks, but right? I could probably store a lot more numbers than those. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you end up with the trap phone? I don't understand. I'm illiterate. Really, you just don't. You don't like <laughs> just the, I can't you, don't, do it. you never had an iPhone. But right, he's doing it right now. Oh, okay. So he'll kind of handle My some iPhone, stuff no, for you. iPad, right? Oh, so when you followed me on Twitter, that was him, not you. That's the other guy. Let's just pretend that it was a real follow. That's a guy that agreed. Right. Because right. that's a lot of times. You know, when I got the Drake follow on Instagram, I'm thinking, like, does he have a guy on his team who did this for him? You never really know, you know? Well, I said, I'm going to show you something. Well, this. Take Drake, Usher, Michael Jackson, anyone that's in that level. I've been thinking about those three and what the differences are right. and how they relate to each um, other a lot lately. You know what's amazing? People around the world are more intrigued about me than them. Wait, what'd you say? Intrigue. You're intrigued. Me. They're intrigued by you. Yeah. I believe that. Have you met Drake? I bet he's oh. super fascinated by People you, right? I don't know that. Put Drake here. I don't give a shit. He makes music. Great things. And what? What you got to say? You don't just naturally. Oh, man, come on. Ready? Ready? Come on. You're not impressed by the music. Because what Drake won't pass me, I don't even know who he is. Really? I don't know. Okay, great. It's a light skinned black guy. Right. What? Oh, he's done some stuff. I don't give a shit. What are you going to do to me? Nothing. Ready? You have $100 million. I got a million dollars. I do not have $100 million for the record. Okay. You can probably help me get there. How about 10000 Okay, I got that. I have like 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I do the same Scaled thing you do. Why you got to Let's make it a little bit more relatable. Hey, 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 I'm a ten bucks. It's okay, fucking asshole. <laughs> so shit, right? So we, so we, are, we almost done. Cause time to go. Yeah. Um, anything else we should uh, touch on? I know you're you're oh, wait, 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 time wait, here. Wait, 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 hit on. You've been oh, working yeah, on music. No, anyway, yeah. Uh, Brandon, right here, this very smart guy, 24 years old, right here. So anyway, uh, integrating um, Dennis Rodman into uh, the the hip hop world as you. Spoke of. Even though you don't listen to Pearl Jam. No, no, that's why I, I, I go dabble. You dabble. <laughs> <laughs> Not with Drake. No, 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 I don't care. Either way, I, 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 I'm going to stand up. As long as it makes people money, I don't care, man. You know, as long as it's up, like I said, um, uh, my partner here and his compadres of love here, they're doing a great job for me. Mm -hmm. uh, keep me relevant. And I thank him very much. And I say a lot about this guy, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. Thank your team here. Thank your team. What does it take for somebody to be able to manage you? <laughs> Patience? Tolerance? Well, that's a good one. Patient. You know what? It's just hard, man. It's hard to do one thing. It's hard to be happy a lot. It's hard to be happy. Uh, when you're on top, it's very hard to be happy because who you trust? I mean, who do you trust? You know, I can talk to people all day long, but guess what? Either, either way, they're going to sit there and some way try to fuck your life over. Mm. And I try to do one thing. Understand my kids because I think I trust them, and um, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't talk about that. <laughs> God, it's just, I trust your kids. I don't even know them. <laughs> I, 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 I get emotional. I share my kids. I keep talking about it because I suck. Right. Uh, so, but anyway, so yeah. But I think it's, it's good though that uh, you have a voice of reason mm -hmm. on your show here, and people should listen to this. You, you think? Know? It should. I'm the voice of reason, or you're the voice of reason? No, no, I'm saying the voice of reason, the fact that you got tattoos, this, 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 and guess what? 
with or without tattoos, without piercings, with anything, without everything in the world, we're the same. Right. We're the same. I feel that. You know what I'm we go to church every Sunday, and guess what? Nope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 This, this is what I wanted but, to talk but, to you about. Right? If I'm going to ask you one last question. Right. A lot of the way people dress and shit right now, especially in rap, right. you pioneered that shit. The colored hair. No, no, no. Listen, but it, it was so funny, though, that the fact that Michael Jordan... Vanilla in comparison to you. You were out there oh, on no, left no, heel. No, he no. was he was clean cut. <laughs> I was clean. You were wilding. I was, I was out there doing it right. You know what? It was amazing. I'll give you a, that's a good story for a leave, right? Okay. Connected to you. Let's do it. What's your name, Adam? Adam. I'm Eve. Um, <laughs> Pause. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's funny that some right, guy from like a basketball right, website right, right. is going to watch this watch interview and have to try to make sense of it. Right, make sense of it. Make sense of it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, right? Somebody from Slam Magazine is watching this like, what the fuck am I watching? So anyway, so basketball news, right? Mm -hmm. So I used to play for Chicago and um, at the center court. Probably twice a week, I would take a girl there, one of the little the chilies. I'll lay down on the floor, butt naked. You know, and I said, try to listen to music. And now, you go to Chicago Bulls. And I said, watch the music play, right? Like, wow. She said, are we going to do this? I said, yes. So I went over got a glass of water, hydrate myself. Very important. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love hydration. <laughs> Love water. Hydrate myself. Yes. And uh, she said yes. And she says, lay right there and say, hey, fuck me. I said, okay. She rode the pony in the middle, on the half court line. She loved it, right? And you on your back, nothing but net, I don't while shoot. she was riding it. I don't shoot. Oh. You know. Could have given it a shot. Well, it's, it's a true story, man. I used to fuck girls at the, at the Bulls Stadium, you know, like at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, shit like that. There's nobody yeah. around to stop that kind of thing no, happening? No, the security's over there. And they were letting me rock. <laughs> it's a true, it's a true story. Right. And that's why bodyguard George, he'll say, oh, yeah, he's going to fuck girls all the goddamn time with a lot of pops and shit. You know, pops and sticks and stuff like that. Boom, what the fuck? Melt. Boom. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, if, if there's anything that you uh, told see, us. See, see, you. I'm so glad you yeah. told us about that. Yeah. Are you ready to go? <laughs> she looks ready to go. Oh no, she's always perfect. I mean, if she came to hang out with you, she's, she's signed uh, up for no, the wild no, ride. She, no, she don't got to take on the wild on the wild side, right? Right. And guess what? So, name me three guys significant in the world, music or not music, that's wilder, successful. That's wilder and more successful than you? Yeah. Jeez, I don't know. I asked three people. Three people who are wilder than you and more successful. Just, I don't know, man. This that's, fun, that's tough huh? to say. This is fucking fun. I don't know what your net worth is either. Yeah, I don't know I, what I, I'm I, supposed I, to compare I, it to. I could be worth a dollar bill. You know who Takashi Six Nine is? Mm hmm What do you think of him? What? He's pretty wild. What? Takashi Six Nine is a rapper from New York. Oh, I thought you said a cock six nine. <laughs> I didn't say a cock six nine. Whoa. God damn. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. That's what you said, right? A no. cock six nine. There's a rapper named Six Nine. That's what they call him sometimes, right. too. I feel like you probably, like, he might not, he might be too young to have necessarily experienced what your time in the NBA was like and everything. But when you see him coming out here with the crazy colored hair and he's just wilding out doing all this crazy stuff. I feel like, you know, in some level, like, you created the, mm. the, the, the category that he sort of exists in now. Well, I just think that the fact that when I did it in 1983, I think the fact that people were used to that because um, the elements about uh, creativity, mm -hmm. the elements of creativity, it was born somewhere in London in the, in the 60s. And it was funny, though, how they was doing, you know, all the wild hair, the mm. colored hair, the tattoos and stuff like that. But there was no voice of reason back then. Mm. Everyone did the same thing. Smoke weed, get drugs, and what the fuck, die. Right. So, you know what? And look at the baby boomers right now. It's probably like maybe two left. Right. No, it's, it's what they call Generation X. It came back. The movement's coming back right now. So you were sort of influenced by the, the no, punk no, rock No, no, no. What's that? I'm saying they couldn't pull that off in a national state now. Mm. I did it in 1993 and still doing it today. And guess what? All of a sudden, now, people have this... Uh, this reachability to make people influence certain things in life. 
when it's like, okay, great, you got tattoos, great, you got tattoos, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got that, the color, okay, great. <clears throat> What's next? Mm. What's next in life? What is next? What's next after colored hair? That's what I'm saying, right? Face tattoos, I guess. I know, right? Yeah. You're going to go that, you you're done with the <laughs> tattoos? <laughs> but yeah, yep. Anyway, so uh, on a good note, today is a good day, right? Let's fuck this day in the ass. Let's do it, right? That's what I'm saying, man. Hey. Uh, love is good, baby. Dope getting to meet you, man. Right, right. One of my, my childhood <laughs> heroes. About the weirdest conversation I ever right, had. Right. But hey, man. You got to laugh. That's your move, huh? You grab them by the tricep. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, dude. All right, baby. Hey, much respect, Dennis Rodman. Motherfucking goat. Right. Nojumper.com. Right. Bang, anyway, bang. so love is style, right? Love. Uh, we're going to propagate love and we're going to stop hate. Why not? And we're going to listen to Pearl Jam. Forever. Right. Dennis Robin, man. No jumper. Oh, right. <laughs> Live, Adam. Live. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank All you. Right, man.